Is this lens alright? Uh, I think it's alright. Thank you very much. Bye bye, Dougie. I think we're just going to ride straight to you. Let me just see the curb. I think the curb is okay. Three, two, one. Okie dokie. Sorry, Dougie. <laughs> Suspension broken. Ready to rock and roll? Totally. Okay. Okay. Good morning world. Welcome back to our Guinness World Record attempt to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by motorcycle. We're here on the outskirts of Istanbul and today is a monumental day because we are about to head into the EU. Leaving Turkey today. Yeah, can you believe it? I can't actually. Turkey was a massive country in the end. Wow, we spent quite a lot of time here. Yeah. We saw a lot of cool stuff, but it's time to go to Europe. It's time to cross the border into Bulgaria. So let me show you guys our route for today. So we are here just northwest of Istanbul. And today we're going to be taking this road past the city of Edirne and over the border into Bulgaria. So our intended first destination in Europe was actually Greece. But after looking on iOverlander at the border, the comments were saying a lot of things like, oh, it was difficult to get the insurance. Oh, they turned us away because we didn't have EU insurance, like the green card and all of this kind of stuff. And then I read the comments for the Bulgarian border and it was like, oh yeah, you just go over the border. There's loads of booths just after the border and you can buy yourself like a three month EU cover, no problem. So it just seems like Bulgaria is a little bit easier to get our European insurance for Bumblebee. So we decided that we're going to go to the border to Bulgaria first and then tomorrow we are going to cross into Greece. But for now it's about two and a half hours to the border and it's already 10.30 so better hit the road, let's go! We didn't really make it very far, so we had to fill up petrol, but at the same time, we wanted to say goodbye to the Turkish Burek. Oh yes. So this one is filled with spinach, and I got us one each. Oh yes. I got us one filled with potatoes, and one filled with cheese. The Turkish roadside snack game is on point. And we haven't even made it 10 miles yet. All right, 100 miles down and we still got another 45 to get to the border and it's all just this big long highway with a lot of trucks heading the same way. But we just noticed that our brake fluid reservoir is leaking. You guys, I don't know if you guys can see, but it's pretty wet. You come around here. Yeah. Oh yeah, you can definitely see here. Yeah. All of this is leaking out. There's like a gauge here at the side and it's got like a lower limit where it should be. Actually, the fluid is pretty much lower than the lower limit. And we just had this changed in Antalya, so perhaps it wasn't tightened up enough, I don't know. Let me see. I mean, I can do like a couple of turns on that, a little bit. I think we'll have to get it topped up, tighten it up again really tight. Yeah and then see whether or not it still leaks. Yeah. Anyway, we're having a little break here and then one more shot to the border. No way are these fumes just coming from a truck. Wow. Oh my God. What's going on? No, there is definitely, definitely something wrong there. Yeah. Yeah, he's stopping. Yeah. Yeah, that's some black fumes coming out of that truck. Wow!
All right, it looks like we're arriving here at the Bulgarian border. Yeah, it looks like it. I hope it won't be too busy. <laughs> we will see it. Yeah, I saw some comments from people that it took around two hours for them to get through. But I don't know, to be honest, it doesn't look very busy at the moment. At the moment, it doesn't look busy. Let's hope for the best. Capicule is the name of the border. Yeah, the question as well, if I have to walk or if I can yeah. just um, be with you. But you're coming home. You're an EU citizen. <laughs> okay, going passenger, ah, visitor maybe I have to be and a... personnel. Okay. Visitor and personnel. Well, we're not visitor and personnel. Okay. So let's see what they do here. Okay. Nothing. Nothing. This is like our last major border. Yeah, it looks because, like it, hey? Yeah, because once we get through here, it's all EU. I don't know about Albania, but at least most of it is going to be all EU until we get to the UK. So I think this is like literally it. We just wait in line. Okay, let's see if this one is shorter or this line here. <laughs> you're, you're obsessed with getting like one car ahead. Hey, I'm a German. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Counting. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. Are you satisfied? Oh, oh, this has gone down by one. Okay. Okay. No, no, no. Go no. To this one. Yeah, yeah. We're getting one down here. Look at this. Yeah. <laughs> oh, ho, ho. oh English, that? English, English. Hey, GB. Should we ask him if he has a uh, spare sticker? They have them already attached to their number plate now. I know. You can yeah. see, because we're not sure for the EU, but you can see the, the British car in front has got a GB on the number plate and our number plate has nothing on because when we went through Russia, we took it off. So actually we don't have a sticker. So I don't know what they're gonna say about that. Here you go. Thank you, bye-bye. Registration, okay. Yes, that's right. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. So there we go. That was super easy on the Turkish side. Wow, you can't believe it. And you know what? We didn't get any fines. No. Because I was scared. Mark from Mark's Travels said they had to pay fines when they exited Turkey because they were traveling with the motorbike and the uh, car and the car had like loads of fines. <laughs> yeah, like speeding tickets. Yes. But no, apparently we didn't get any speeding tickets. No, nothing. That's pretty good. Man, that's incredible. Look, yeah. the EU flag over there. <laughs> There we go. We are very close now. So Turkey done. And that was literally, okay, that actually was the fastest border crossing we've ever done. That yeah. was the fastest out, wasn't yeah. it? That was literally By passport, far. stamp, stamp. They put the number plate in the system, checked, no fines, nothing. Okay, good to go. Incredible, man. Turkey, you're so advanced exactly because of their like electronic system of yeah. everything yeah. they just put in the system da, 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 done mm -hmm. wow incredible so yeah that's one half done now we've got to see how long it's going to take to get into bulgaria and into the eu yes i'm excited <laughs> hello, hello. Number. yeah number. can you see yeah i think he can see Thank you. Bye-bye. I think this was the last check, maybe. Okay. So that was them just double checking? Yeah, I don't know exactly. Or maybe here's another double checking, whatever. I don't know. We seem to have quite a few checks. So I don't know what they're for. <laughs> Never know how. It's going Bulgaria? Yeah, I think this is Bulgarian border police. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Oh, you look friendly. There you go. <laughs> to go to the left, yeah. Shortest, 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 shortest. Everyone is going, just us is not going. Look, there's a Czech biker with a BMW. Yeah. Okay, all passports. A few moments later. So the Bulgarian side was just as easy as the Turkish side. Literally, again, just stamp the passport. 
and just waved us straight through that was it so now we're just looking to see where we can find insurance apparently there's supposed to be an eu insurance somewhere around here and we also have to get our vignette which is like the toll for Bulgarian roads. So basically any road in Bulgaria that you drive, we have to uh, have like a pass to drive on them. So we'll buy our vignette here and then we'll see if we can find some insurance. No, no internet. No internet? Yes. Oh. After one kilometer. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you, bye-bye. <laughs> oh, that's so chill. That's so amazing. chill, man. Wow. <laughs> ah. Sigurta. Oh. Do you think that was the place? Look, Sigurta as well over there. Oh, okay. Sigurta is insurance. Okay. Okay. Customs agency. Sigurta here. This is insurance. Yeah. Check it out. Okay. Yeah, cool. They're just uh, checking the price for us. For this. three month green card cover EU. For three months. For three months. 61 euro. 61 euro. Very good. That's good. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> 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 I like it. Thank you. That sounds, sounds good. So they don't take card here. So now we have to go and try and find an ATM to give us some Bulgarian leva. So let's go that way. Try and find some cash. 20 minutes later. So this is what 10 leva looks like. It's got like a telescope on this side, some guy. And is that a rhino? It might be a rhino and a whale. Insurance, done. <laughs> that was really easy, it took about 10 minutes and it was 61 euro, 120 leva for three months of coverage, which should cover us all the way until we get to, well, until we take the ferry from Calais. They also told us that motorcycles don't need to buy a vignette for Bulgaria. So basically, we're good to go. We're good to go. Good to go. Free sailing! Woo! <laughs> I think it's time for a celebratory bread and cheese. <laughs> yes! Mm -hmm. Sandwich time! So far, so good. <laughs> Yo! Alrighty, that's it. Now we can finally say that we are hitting the streets of the EU. <laughs> that's so beautiful. What a nice day, hey? Yeah, and that was surprisingly easy. The comments were that it was just much, much easier than going through Greece. And it was super quick to get through the border, super quick to get through customs, and then getting the insurance. <sighs> cheap and easy i mean 61 euro for three months covering the eu that's an amazing price uk insurance would i think was costing us like more than 100 pounds a month i think for this one month when we started the trip we paid 240 pounds yeah absolutely <laughs> crazy <laughs> yes so yeah if you want insurance for the eu come to bulgaria yeah <laughs> so anyway we are now heading to the next town which is called Haskoval. And there we're gonna go to a motorcycle garage that can hopefully help us top up this brake fluid because we desperately need brake fluid. I can hardly see anything in here. Everything is wet around it, but it doesn't look like that anything is inside anymore. In the next town we saw on iOverlander uh, a garage or a place that sells motorcycle stuff. So hopefully they'll have brake fluid for us. Yep. So now that the stress of getting into the EU is over, I just wanted to ask you guys watching that if you're enjoying our series, if you're enjoying this episode, please click that subscribe button. We had a look at our YouTube analytics and we can see that we are getting thousands of people watching our series for the first time every month. I think it was something like 40,000 people are watching our videos for the first time every month. So if you watch us for the first time or for the second, or third time and you haven't yet subscribed then please subscribe if you like our channel and if you like us to continue on yeah guys it would really help us out so show your support for our journey around the world and 
click the subscribe button. Guys, can you see what I can see? Little! Yes! <laughs> we are back in Little Land! <laughs> back in Little Land! So we will have breakfast, lunch and dinner at this shop now. <laughs> Little was like our go-to at the beginning of this trip. Like everything we ate was from Little. We couldn't survive without Little. Little was our second home. So anyway, we've arrived in the town of Haskellville. The motorcycle shop is just a mile up ahead. Oh my god, guys, really, like, we travel so much and, you know, it feels like just a week ago we have crossed the Pampas in, like, Argentina, you know? <laughs> it feels so weird to be in Europe again. Yeah, at the moment I haven't really, it hasn't really sunk it in that we've actually reached Europe. I know! Until I saw Little. <laughs> Soon we'll be seeing Greg's. <laughs> oh my god, I'm excited for Greg's, for sure. I do not see anything. Oh no. Yeah. Don't see anything at the moment. Uh, this one, that one. Oh yeah, this one. Ah, there, there it is. Perfect. Yep. Hello. Hello um, brake fluid. Uh, this one. This one. Uh, no, just to take off and just put. Oh, yes. Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. Yep. Ah, uh, uh, here, look. Seems okay, but we do need a little bit more in. This. This. Da? Yeah? Okay, just like. Da? Okay. Uh, okay, okay. Perfect. Here was a little bit like bent, yeah? I'm not sure if it was, but either way, if we top it all the way to the top now. Yeah doesn't look like there's anything really wrong here so I hope that we can just put it back like that push it down again and then I'll just put it on super tight and we'll hope for the best hey at least if we've got spare brake fluid then if it's still leaking out we can just keep topping it up we are professionals now <laughs> look at that we've got a spare we got our first spare something oh we're ridiculous can you Me, I'm from Germany. He from England. From England. Yes. Bulgaria. Wow. Whoa. Yes. That's cool. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Where did you find him? Uh, we met in Australia. In Australia. Yes. Yes. We were both traveling. And you like traveling? Yes. A lot. I'm sure. For you, uh, YouTube. Mm -hmm. Lavi and Oli. <laughs> <laughs> Here is a card. So Lavi. And Oli, me Oli, and she is Lavi. Uh, <laughs> and uh, and <laughs> forever. I'm an English teacher. I was. Oh, I'm uh, retired. Okay. Oh, that's good. I'm 80 years old. Wow, that's amazing. When I was a teacher, we visited a group. Of, I remember Stonehenge. Oh yes. I remember the town of Bath. Oh yes. Cambridge, I remember Stratford on Avon. Oh, lovely place. Uh, Shakespeare's yeah. house and uh, the theatre. We saw Richard III. Oh, nice, yes. Song That's today. very cool. Yes, I remember I watched Merry Wives of Windsor at the Globe in London. Where are we going to spend the night today? We are going now um, towards Greece Is and then we are going to be camping. Oh, of course. Mm -hmm. we, okay, well, yeah, we, we have, have the tent. Yes. Am I in your your show you could be in our show <laughs> oh, they are great fun. yes exactly great fun. beautiful you are and lucky and i wish you good luck of course thank you so much and, and be same. happy i remember you thank you thank you very much thank you thank you have a nice time be happy thank you so happy. much respect each other and love <laughs> bye, bye bye thank you bye so that was a successful stop. Managed to get our brake fluid really easily. Yeah, super easy actually. And we have some spare as well. So in case it is dripping, it doesn't matter. We will just top it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, now I can see that this little window is full again. Yeah. So that makes me happy. And we met the absolutely lovely Zorka. Really nice lady. And like really good English as well. 
Yeah, it's so nice when you can talk to people. I love it. So now we're heading out of town and we found a camp on I Overlander, which is only 12 miles from here towards the Greek border, which is this way. And this camp is on a lake and I, I always love lake camps. Yeah, I mean, on paper, it looks really promising. So I'm super excited to go there and check it out. We've probably got about an hour, hour and a half until sunset. So yeah, if we can get there, get set up, hopefully it's going to work out to be a lovely night. Under the palm trees in the California sun Sand underneath our feet, the morning's just begun I don't remember much from the night before Just from the human touch and now I want more So here's our lake Beautiful So so nice hey look at this yeah. And there's a fella with his sheep Mm-hmm <laughs> I think just here, huh? nice grass spot. Yeah, I reckon right here. Yeah. Just got to see if we can find a relatively flat spot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't look that I flat. I think probably there in the middle. Yeah, that's probably the, the flattest here. I think we're going to have to sleep on a, on a bit of a hill tonight. But anyway, it's super peaceful, super beautiful. Look at this place. Another lakeside camp. Yes. Our tent is still super wet from the day where we camped at the lake and I haven't dried it and it was like packed away for like two days. Oh no! Good evening guys, we made it! Happy and alive! Yay! Happy and alive in the European Union! <laughs> and what a stunning spot for the first night. It's so peaceful here and it just feels so nice, you know? Yeah, there's just a family having a little, I don't know, a picnic or something and they've got a little boat there milling around this lake on, people fishing. Yeah, Bulgaria seems like a really, really nice place, like a country with a lot of countryside. Yeah, so it was a really successful day. We made it into Bulgaria and now tomorrow we're going to be making our way into Greece. Yes, and that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below and we will see you next time.